Hey guys, this is an iMovie tutorial, iMovie 09 tutorial, and we're going to talk about my interface and green screens. Um, a lot of people see my interface on iMovie and they like how I got it set up, and the main thing I did was I switched my event browser, my project library, with my um, event library up here. I just had them, so I switched places, and that's under the uh, window, swap events and projects. Also, under viewer, I like to keep my viewer small. You can go medium and you can go large but I just like to keep mine to small because my projects can get pretty big as you can see these are my projects here I keep my projects on my secondary hard drive not on my main hard drive or anywhere um, what else is there also if you have a dual display you can use your dual display to put the viewer that way you can get it totally out of here and put it on your second display which is pretty nice as you can see here, I've implemented the stabilized clip. Let me take the window up larger here so you can see this. Now, the first part of it here is not stabilized. Let me play it. You can see how shaky that is there. Okay, play it again. Now, this part of it is stabilized by iMovie. As you can see, it's not nearly as rough. It's really a smooth pan up. So if you haven't got too shaky of a footage, iMovie does a wonderful job. There's no final cut or shake, but look at that. Compared to this, there's a stabilized. See, it looks a lot better, guys. Um, I'm sorry, I, people say it don't. See, look how unstabilized. Now here comes the stabilized. Smooth as it can be. So I just, this was just, to disagree with the people that say the eye stabilization in iMovie isn't that good. You just need to work with it, guys, and, and adjust it. But what we're here to do, let me set my window back up to how it was. What we're here to do is look at green screens. So here we go. I have a project open. This is the Mac Heads preview I was editing together so you guys could get a look at the Mac Heads movie. Um, as you can see, it's just our common thing here. The first thing I always do is I'll right click and I will detach the audio. And that will put the audio down here in this little purple bar so I can adjust it separately from the movie clip. Um, that just extracts the audio and it makes it separate so I can, I can edit on them separately. I have my titles. As you can see, I have my comment markers. I have my chapter markers. All the normal stuff. Here's some backgrounds that you can get over here from iMovie. As you can see, here's the world background. Okay. Here's the uh, organic background. But now, as you can see, if you look, let me take my window bigger now. Well, actually, that's a little bit too big. Let's make it medium. So as you can see, I have a green screen here iMovie can key this out. So let me scooch, scooch this down here. As you can see, here we go. This is the clip after I keyed it out in iMovie. As you can see, I can see the world map right through the screen there because I removed the green screen. And when you remove the green screen, what happens? You see whatever is underneath. So if I had another movie laying underneath this, I would see that other movie. See, I can I can uh, scoot my green screen down here now, and now I'm seeing the movie. It looks like I got a little TV on my dashboard. Okay. Now, as you can see through the uh, window there, there's the movie on the bottom. You can see the guy. I can scoot it back here over the earth. And now you can see the earth through the window. Okay. You get the idea of how green screen works. So let me show you how that works. It's easy. Just uh, highlight your green screen, pick it up, bring it down here, and hold it, okay? And let go. And when you do, you're going to get this menu. It's going to have replace, replace from start, replace from end, replace it, playhead, insert, audio only, cutaway, picture in picture, which is really nice. Let me show you what that is. As you can see now, we've got this little picture in picture here. You can make it bigger and smaller iMovie09 just rocks. But that is not why we're here. 
we're here to demonstrate the green screen capabilities of iMovie. So I'll drag it down, drop it, my little menu will come up. So I'm not going to pick picture in picture this time. I'm going to pick green screen. And boom, there we go. Let me make my window bigger. Now we have it's kind of screwed up. It's not the best looking deal in the world. Don't expect professional results, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and adjust our clip. So let's go in and maybe auto adjust and let's fool with our green gain. Fool with our blue gain and our red. Now we can go up here and mess with our levels just to try to even it out a little bit. And it just takes some finessing. You can set and, and, fool, and fool with it however you want. It's really up to you how you want to make it look. Now we're getting a pretty good um, key, it looks like here. Brighten this up a little bit. And there we go. We have us a, a really done key in iMovie for a cheap, quick, do-it-yourself um, little application like iMovie is. This is just wonderful, guys. You do not understand what this does for the average home user. There's nothing like this on the Windows end. For $80, you're getting a keyer. You're getting an image stabilizer. You can stabilize your footage, you can key your footage, you can add titles, effects, transitions, and this is just one of the apps you get for $80. iMovie 09 blows my mind. It's a wonderful, wonderful application. I've been using it twice as often as I usually did. I can finally say I would rather use this than iMovie 06. Um, for quick, fast projects, I always use iMovie now. I'm only using Final Cut for things that I really need to uh, make look professional, you know, because, of course, Final Cut Pro just blows iMovie away. But for what iMovie does and for you, I've, I'm using it so much more now. This is just wonderful. As you can see, it does a pretty decent job on your green screen if you have a good green screen. You can extract your audio. You can, you can, uh, Heck, this is almost like a timeline here, you know. You can, you have your new precision editor, which is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> if you wanted to go into precision editing, you have um, freeze frames. You can add a freeze frame now. I really, I really do like the precision editor. Um, you can also slow the clip down and speed it up too. I mean, iMovie 09 is just wow. Is all I can say, guys. Thumbs up from me. I know some of y'all have been wanting my opinion on this, so here's the video. One more thing I'd like to go over here, as you noticed, some people want to, for some reason, have told me that you can't add more than one piece of audio to iMovie, but you can. As you can see, I have uh, the, a pink song called Mean in the background over the whole clip. We have the clip from the audio from the movie. As you can see here, I have another clip, uh, audio, Dogma, from iLife for GarageBand, and down here I have some crickets. So as you can see, I have the Dogma, the Mean Song by Pink, and some crickets. More than one piece of audio. If I play this, you'll more than one piece of audio. And if I play this, you'll hear the Pink Song. Now you'll notice when I get down here, you'll hear Dogma and Pink together because they're both here. Because as you can see right here is the Dogma audio clip. You can hear the strings in the background. So as you can see, so as you can see, you can definitely add more than one piece of audio to your movie in iMovie 09. I'm not sure if you could in 08, but in 09 you can. So thanks for watching, guys.